Did you know the key to building wealth lies in controlling one invisible muscle? Science proves it. Willpower is the missing link to turning financial ambitions into reality. In The Willpower Instinct, Kelly McGonigal explores this fascinating intersection between self-control and life success, revealing how willpower acts as the bridge between our desires and the realities we wish to build. It's more than just saying no to temptation or yes to hard work. McGonigal's research shows that willpower, our ability to regulate impulses, delay gratification, and keep long-term goals in sight, is critical not only for self-improvement, but is also the core of sustainable financial success. What makes the willpower instinct so impactful is McGonigal's approach to breaking down willpower into actionable parts, making it accessible and applicable. It's not just about self-discipline as an abstract idea. Instead, McGonigal presents a framework where willpower can be practiced, strengthened, and applied to real-life scenarios, especially those that relate to financial success. According to McGonigal, success isn't simply about having the right strategy or making the right investments. While those are certainly important, they're secondary to maintaining disciplined habits and a focused mindset. By understanding how self-control works, McGonigal argues, anyone can unlock their potential to build the future they envision. Understanding willpower as a financial tool. Let's start with understanding why willpower is more than just a mindset. At its core, willpower is a skill tied to a specific region in the brain, the prefrontal cortex. This part of the brain, responsible for decision-making, planning, and impulse control, is activated whenever we make choices that require discipline. McGonigal likens this to a muscle that can be trained and strengthened with consistent use. Much like a muscle, the more we exercise willpower, the more resilient it becomes. However, as with physical muscles, it can also tire out with overuse, which means it's essential to understand how to nurture and sustain it. For those looking to build wealth, this insight is crucial. Every financial decision, from the choice to save instead of spend to holding out for a higher investment return, taps into this willpower muscle. McGonigal explains that the trick to building wealth lies not in winning the lottery of investment success, but in mastering the self-control required to make consistent, wise choices. Breaking down willpower, the I will, I won't, I want framework. In the willpower instinct, McGonigal introduces a practical framework for applying willpower which he describes as the by will, I won't, I want approach. One, I will. This is the part of willpower that pushes us toward positive actions like setting up a budget or committing to an investment plan. It's about the power to do the things that align with our long-term goals, despite the challenges. For example, sticking to a weekly savings goal is an I will action. Each time we commit to this behavior, we're reinforcing our willpower. Two, I won't. This is the strength to resist actions that detract from our goals. In the financial realm, it might mean saying no to impulsive spending or resisting the urge to cash out an investment at the first sign of volatility. The by won't aspect of willpower is often the most challenging because it requires going against instant gratification in favor of future rewards. Three, I want. This final component keeps our long-term desires at the forefront serving as a reminder of why we are practicing self-control in the first place. This might mean keeping a mental image of the financial freedom we hope to achieve or the peace of mind that comes with being debt-free. The by want focus helps anchor us, reminding us of the why behind our disciplined actions. Together, these three elements offer a toolkit for anyone looking to improve their financial habits and achieve more consistent success. Instead of viewing willpower as a single, daunting feat, McGonigal encourages breaking it down, making it easier to tackle one step at a time. Mastering impulses, recognizing triggers, and building resilience. Another key aspect of McGonigal's work is the identification and management of triggers that can weaken our resolve. When faced with decisions, particularly those that involve financial temptations, we often experience a mental tug of war between instant gratification and long-term benefit. Triggers, whether emotional, like stress, or situational, such as seeing a luxury item on sale, can lead us to act impulsively, undermining our goals. McGonigal emphasizes that becoming aware of these triggers is the first step in controlling them. For example, 
If someone's trigger is stress and they tend to overspend to cope, recognizing this pattern allows them to put strategies in place to manage stress without resorting to spending. Building resilience is about finding healthier alternatives and reinforcing our focus on long-term benefits rather than immediate rewards. Training the willpower muscle for financial discipline. Building wealth is often a marathon, not a sprint. McGonagall's approach teaches that financial success comes from the ability to sustain discipline habits over time, and this means training our willpower muscle regularly. Just as we wouldn't expect to build physical endurance without consistent exercise, financial discipline requires a steady commitment to strengthening self-control. One way McGonagall recommends training this willpower muscle is by setting small, incremental challenges. This could mean starting with a modest savings goal each week and gradually increasing it as self-discipline grows. Each success reinforces the willpower muscle, making it easier to tackle more significant goals down the line. The cumulative effect is powerful. Even small gains, when added over time, can create a substantial impact on our financial future. Developing a mindful approach to financial decisions. McGonagall also advocates for mindfulness as a tool for enhancing self-control. Being mindful involves bringing full attention to the present moment and becoming more aware of our actions and decisions. When applied to financial decisions, mindfulness encourages us to pause and consider our motivations before acting. For instance, before making a purchase, we can take a moment to ask ourselves if it aligns with our financial goals. This pause allows us to act with intention rather than impulse. By incorporating mindfulness into daily life, we gradually shift from reactive to proactive financial behaviors, leading to better outcomes. McGonagall suggests even short mindfulness exercises can significantly impact willpower, providing a valuable resource for those seeking financial growth. Understanding and cultivating willpower as described by Kelly McGonigal in The Willpower Instinct can redefine how we approach financial success. It becomes clear that wealth building isn't just about smart investments or clever budgeting. It's about developing a mental resilience that allows us to pursue our goals, resist distractions, and make decisions with clarity and purpose. Now that we've explored how willpower serves as the foundation for financial discipline, the next part will dive into practical strategies for identifying and managing impulsive financial behaviors. By learning to recognize these impulses, you'll gain even more control over your financial journey. Stay tuned to uncover the secrets to mastering your financial impulses and taking charge of your financial future. If you could observe and control your financial impulses, how much more would you save? In the willpower instinct, Kelly McGonigal delves into the power of self-awareness as the first step towards self-control. In her framework, self-awareness isn't simply an occasional mental check-in. It's an active process of observing our thoughts, feelings, and impulses before they become actions. For those pursuing financial goals, understanding why and when we feel the urge to spend is fundamental. McGonigal explains that by becoming more mindful of our impulses, we gain control over them, allowing us to make conscious choices rather than simply reacting to fleeting desires. Why self-awareness is essential to financial success. Think of self-awareness as the flashlight that illuminates your financial decision-making. By consistently observing your spending habits and identifying where impulses come from, you uncover patterns and habits that may have been unnoticed. In fact, it's often these hidden habits that derail financial goals. McGonagall highlights that when we're on autopilot, reacting to every impulse or external influence, our goals are easily pushed to the back burner. But when we're aware of these triggers, we're empowered to resist them, making room for deliberate goal-oriented decisions. For instance, imagine noticing that each time you feel stressed, you end up buying something you don't truly need. Maybe it's a snack, an online purchase, or an unnecessary upgrade. By becoming aware of this pattern, you can interrupt it, avoiding impulsive spending that detracts from your savings goals. This awareness, McGonagall asserts, is foundational to financial self-control because it allows you to separate real needs from fleeting wants. Recognizing common triggers for impulsive spending. In her book, McGonagall explains that impulses often arise from specific triggers, which can be emotional, situational, or habitual. 
Here are some examples. 1. Stress. Many people turn to spending as a stress reliever. When faced with a difficult day, the mind may gravitate towards retail therapy as a form of comfort. However, the relief is usually short-lived, replaced by buyer's remorse or a dent in one's budget. 2. Reward seeking. Another common impulse stems from wanting to reward oneself. Maybe you completed a project, hit a milestone, or just need a small pick-me-up. While there's nothing wrong with celebrating achievements, if it turns into habitual spending, it can easily sidetrack long-term goals. 3. Social influence. Often, we find ourselves spending impulsively due to social pressures. Maybe a friend suggests a night out or a trending item catches your eye. These external influences can lead us to make purchases that don't align with our financial goals. For boredom, many people spend out of boredom. Scrolling through an online store, adding items to the cart, and hitting buy becomes a way to pass the time. But every little impulse purchase adds up, eating away at potential savings. McGonagall encourages us to observe these triggers without judgment. By recognizing and labeling them, we create a pause that gives us the power to make intentional choices rather than being carried away by temporary feelings or situations. Exercise, the five minute pause. To build self-awareness, McGonagall recommends an exercise she calls the five minute pause. The concept is simple. Whenever you feel the urge to make an impulsive purchase, pause for five minutes. Use this time to reflect on why you wanna make the purchase and whether it aligns with your financial goals. Ask yourself questions like, is this something I truly need right now? Or is it a reaction to stress or boredom? How will this purchase impact my budget and my long-term financial goals? Am I acting on an immediate impulse? Or is this a carefully considered decision? This five-minute pause allows you to regain control over your actions. By giving yourself this short period to reflect, you can often overcome the initial impulse and make a decision that serves your larger goals. In many cases, simply waiting five minutes is enough to let the urge pass, allowing you to make a more mindful choice. Examples of the five-minute pause in action. Imagine you're scrolling through social media and see an ad for the latest tech gadget. The initial excitement of owning something new might create a strong impulse to purchase it. Before you hit buy now, take a five minute pause. In those few minutes, think about why you want the gadget. Is it something that will genuinely add value to your life? Or is it simply the thrill of a new item? Often, after those five minutes, you may find that the excitement has faded, helping you save that money instead. Or consider a scenario where you've had a long week at work. You feel drained and decide that a little shopping spree would lift your spirits. But by taking that five minute pause, you might realize that what you're actually craving is rest or relaxation. Instead of spending money, you could choose to unwind with a walk, a hobby, or some time to recharge, activities that won't impact your budget. Building awareness over time, as you practice the five minute pause, you'll likely notice certain patterns in your impulses. You may find that certain emotions or situations consistently trigger spending urges. By identifying these triggers, you can prepare for them and create strategies to cope with them in ways that don't involve spending. McGonagall suggests keeping a simple journal of these moments. Every time you feel a spending impulse, jot down the trigger in your thoughts. This process helps you visualize the connection between emotions and actions, reinforcing your self-awareness. Over time, you'll notice patterns that allow you to be proactive reducing the number of impulsive decisions you need to control. Why self-awareness leads to financial growth. Each time you take a five minute pause, you strengthen your self-control. You build resilience against impulsive spending and begin to prioritize long-term goals over short-term satisfaction. This process transforms willpower from an abstract concept into a tangible skill. McGonagall argues that this skill is essential for anyone looking to build wealth because it enables them to make decisions that are consistent with their financial vision. By recognizing and interrupting impulses, you're no longer at the mercy of fleeting desires. Instead, you're directing your energy toward achieving financial independence. Self-awareness becomes a guiding force, allowing you to make intentional choices that keep you on track with your goals. 
Developing financial self-awareness through McGonagall's 5-Minute Pause Exercise is a powerful way to begin mastering your spending habits. By observing your triggers and practicing self-control, you set yourself up for consistent progress toward your financial goals. Now that you've started to gain control over impulsive spending, the next step is to build a routine that strengthens financial discipline. In the upcoming section, we'll explore how to create daily habits that reinforce your financial self-control, transforming willpower from an occasional practice into a consistent routine. Stay tuned to discover how to make self-discipline an integral part of your financial journey, ensuring steady progress and long-term success. Your brain is your greatest ally on the journey to building wealth, but it needs training. In The Willpower Instinct, Kelly McGonigal reveals that financial success isn't just a matter of strategy, but also a matter of mental resilience. At the center of this resilience lies the prefrontal cortex, the region of the brain that governs self-control, planning, and decision-making. McGonigal explains that by training this part of the brain, we can improve our ability to make conscious, deliberate decisions, strengthening our resolve against impulses that tempt us away from our financial goals. This mental strength forms the foundation for lasting wealth, allowing us to focus on the bigger picture rather than being swayed by temporary distractions. Understanding the power of the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is often referred to as the executive center of the brain. It's the part responsible for weighing options, assessing risks, and planning for the future. When it's well-trained, it helps us make decisions aligned with our long-term objectives, such as building wealth. However, McGonagall emphasizes that the prefrontal cortex is like a muscle. Without consistent training, it can become fatigued and more susceptible to stress and impulses. For those aiming to secure financial stability, a strong prefrontal cortex is invaluable. When faced with the temptation of instant gratification, whether it's a luxury purchase or a high-risk investment, a resilient prefrontal cortex provides the mental clarity to assess whether that decision supports or detracts from long-term goals. It helps you resist the urge to spend impulsively, keeping you aligned with the discipline required to build wealth. Building financial resilience through mental training. McGonagall suggests that financial resilience doesn't just happen. It's cultivated through intentional mental training. In the context of wealth building, resilience means having the strength to stick to a budget, resist stress-induced spending, and remain committed to financial goals even when immediate temptations arise. By training the brain, particularly the prefrontal cortex, we can improve our resilience, making it easier to stay on course even in challenging situations. Financial resilience is the ability to maintain focus on wealth-building objectives in the face of obstacles, distractions, and temptations. McGonagall notes that this resilience is strengthened by regularly engaging in practices that reinforce our commitment to long-term goals. It's about developing the mental stamina to say no to short-term desires so we can say yes to long-term financial success. Practical exercises to strengthen the brain's resilience. To cultivate a resilient mind, McGonagall recommends two key practices, meditation and physical exercise. Both of these activities have been shown to enhance the prefrontal cortex's strength and, as a result, improve self-control. When done consistently, they provide the mental fortitude needed to overcome impulsive urges and stay focused on larger financial objectives. One. Meditation. Studies reveal that meditation can physically strengthen the prefrontal cortex by enhancing its structure and function. This mental exercise encourages mindfulness, allowing us to observe thoughts and impulses without acting on them impulsively. For wealth building, meditation is a valuable tool because it trains us to pause and reflect before making a decision. By developing a regular meditation practice, even for just five to 10 minutes a day, you can build the mental resilience needed to approach financial decisions with calm and clarity. Over time, you'll find it easier to resist impulsive spending and maintain a disciplined approach to your goals. Two, physical exercise. Regular physical activity doesn't just benefit the body. It has a profound effect on mental resilience as well. Exercise increases blood flow to the brain, improving its ability to handle stress and reinforcing the prefrontal cortex's capacity to manage impulses. 
McGonagall points out that physical activity can help stabilize mood and reduce the likelihood of stress-induced spending. A simple routine, like a daily walk or a few weekly workouts, can have a lasting impact on your financial self-discipline by keeping your mind sharp and focused on your objectives. Applying mental resilience to financial decisions. With a trained prefrontal cortex, financial decisions become less about immediate desires and more about long-term planning. The mental clarity gained from resilience training allows you to assess each choice in terms of its impact on your ultimate goal, financial security. When faced with decisions that might momentarily seem appealing but could compromise your financial progress, your trained mind will help you evaluate them from a distance, separating emotional impulses from logical outcomes. Consider the scenario of a high-risk investment promising quick returns. Without a strong prefrontal cortex, the temptation for immediate gain might cloud your judgment, making it harder to assess the actual risk. However, with a resilient mind, you're more likely to pause, analyze, and weigh the pros and cons, considering how this decision aligns with your financial goals. This ability to separate short-term excitement from long-term benefits is crucial in building a sustainable path to wealth. Integrating meditation and exercise into daily life. McGonagall's research shows that for resilience training to be effective, it must be consistent. This means integrating meditation and physical exercise into your routine rather than viewing them as occasional practices. By committing to a short daily meditation session, you gradually strengthen your brain's ability to focus and resist impulses. Pairing this with regular exercise further reinforces your mental resilience, making it easier to maintain disciplined financial behaviors. To get started, try setting aside 5 to 10 minutes each morning for meditation. Begin with simple breath-focused exercises, observing each inhale and exhale. If you notice your mind wandering, gently bring it back to your breath. This exercise trains your brain to stay present, which can translate into more deliberate financial choices. Similarly, schedule regular physical activity that you enjoy, whether it's a morning jog, an evening walk, or a weekly fitness class. Physical exercise can help stabilize your mood making you less likely to turn to spending as a coping mechanism. Over time, these small changes contribute to a more resilient, focused mind equipped to handle financial challenges with a clear perspective. By training your brain through resilience-building practices like meditation and exercise, you create a foundation for wealth that goes beyond mere financial strategy. This mental strength helps you resist short-term temptations and focus on long-term rewards ensuring steady progress toward your financial goals. As McGonagall's research reveals, true wealth is as much about mental discipline as it is about financial decisions. Now that you've learned how to strengthen your discipline, it's time to put it all into action by mastering the power of saying no. In the next section, we'll dive into the final step, learning to say no to impulses that threaten your financial success. Stay tuned for strategies to turn this discipline into a powerful tool for wealth building. Learning to say no is the key to saying yes to your financial freedom. In The Willpower Instinct, Kelly McGonigal emphasizes that true financial freedom requires more than just earning or investing wisely. It demands the strength to say no to decisions and habits that threaten your financial stability. Self-control is at the core of this ability to decline short-term temptations in favor of long-term security. Whether it's resisting a high-risk investment that promises instant returns or curbing the impulse to splurge on things that don't add real value, saying no reinforces your commitment to a stable financial future. The power of saying no in building wealth. Saying no to temptations isn't about deprivation. It's about choice. Each time we decline an unnecessary expense or a risky financial venture, we're actively choosing stability over uncertainty. McGonagall illustrates that willpower isn't merely about avoiding things we want, but about protecting the things that matter most. By saying no to fleeting desires, we're essentially saying yes to a future that's secure, free from financial strain. In practical terms, this means avoiding high-risk investments that might seem appealing but lack security. These ventures can sometimes lead to significant losses, undermining the financial stability we work so hard to achieve. 
by exercising self-control and focusing on well-researched, lower-risk options. We build wealth with a foundation rooted in security rather than speculation. Similarly, avoiding the habit of unnecessary purchases protects your wealth and aligns your actions with your long-term vision of financial freedom. Strengthening self-discipline with each no, each no we practice strengthens our ability to make decisions that reflect our larger goals. McGonagall explains that willpower is like a muscle that grows with use and each instance of self-discipline strengthens our future resolve. The more often you say no to financial distractions, the easier it becomes to remain committed to your priorities. This cumulative effect creates a ripple that positively impacts every area of your financial life, helping you stay on course even in the face of tempting alternatives. Imagine the scenario of choosing between a new gadget or putting that money toward your savings. In the moment, the excitement of the purchase might feel more rewarding, but each time you decide against it in favor of a bigger goal, you reinforce the habit of choosing wisely. Over time, these choices build a foundation of financial resilience, empowering you to take control of your wealth rather than letting impulses control you. Commitment to a financially secure future. The practice of saying no cultivates not only discipline, but also a commitment to the future you envision. It's an affirmation of your dedication to a financially secure life, a life where your choices reflect your values and long-term goals. When we think of willpower in these terms, saying no becomes less about sacrifice and more about empowerment. By prioritizing long-term stability over immediate satisfaction, you're building a foundation of wealth that can withstand unexpected challenges. McGonagall's insights underscore that the path to wealth isn't defined by the things you acquire, but by the discipline to avoid the things that detract from your progress. Each time you say no to a quick reward, you're not only saving money, but reinforcing a mindset that aligns with financial independence. This mindset shift is what separates those who wish for wealth from those who actively build it. Closing, the willpower to change your financial path. As we wrap up this journey inspired by the willpower instinct, remember that true financial success is built on consistent choices that reflect your goals. McGonagall's research offers practical, science-backed strategies for building self-discipline and creating lasting wealth. By focusing on resilience, self-awareness, and the power of saying no, you're equipped to transform not only your finances, but your entire approach to personal success. Now, it's time to take these strategies and put them into practice. Challenge yourself to say no to a financial impulse this week and see how that single choice can strengthen your control over your financial future. If you found these insights valuable, give the video a like and share it with someone who could benefit from a fresh approach to wealth building. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button. We have another video coming up that dives even deeper into financial transformation. Don't miss it. Subscribing is the best way to stay connected, so go ahead and join us on this journey toward lasting financial freedom.